Hello, little disclaimer before you watch this video, please, if you need to, um, stop and pause to read some of the quotes that I have put into the video. Um, I wanted to put them there as extra receipts, so please, if you want to read it, just pause the video and read the um, little blurbs that I have put in. Hope you enjoy the video, take care and enjoy! Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm Elvis Lassie on YouTube and today we're going to be looking at the evolution of Hound Dog. Oh yes. So I had to put this on my channel because of a video that I watched and in the comment section there were so many absolute untruths about Hound Dog. About how Elvis stole Hound Dog, about who wrote Hound Dog, about who did the best version of Hound Dog and all of these things were infuriating me. So I thought let's get cracking on a video. So if you're here for it, hello and I hope you enjoy this. So let's go looking first and foremost into the first version of Hound Dog which was of course Big Mama Thornton. Now this version is epic, we're going to listen to it very very soon um, and I'm going to put as many versions as I can in here throughout the evolution. Three, to be exact. Starting with Big Mama Thornton. Now, of course, Big Mama Thornton performed Hound Dog. It was written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller. And these guys wrote it with Mama Thornton in mind. They wanted Mama Thornton to record Hound Dog. They went to her. They've sat with her. They talked with her. And when they got down to it, in actual fact, um, I think it was Mike, said, um, if you could sing it like this. And I'm sure her response to it was, uh, you're not going to get me, teach me how to sing. But they persisted because I think Mama Thornton was trying to do it like a ballad. So they wanted that rough edge. They wanted that soul voice. And they got it. Unbelievably. Um, what came out of Mama Thornton was absolute genius. And Lieber and Stoller have said that her version was what they intended. This was what they wanted in a song when they wrote the lyrics. Now, of course, there has been um, lots of controversy and it brings and ties into the whole thing of interpretation. Mama Thornton did come later and said that her interpretation, the way she done it, she should have credit for this. Um, but if we strip it down... Lieber and Stoller wrote Hound Dog and it was intended for Mama Thornton. Let's listen to Mama Thornton's now. A quick clip and um, I will include all the other clips in this video so stick with it and you will hear three versions. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that with Mama Thornton. I absolutely adore that version. I truly do. The new version that's coming out with Dojo Cat. Apologies if I um, said her name wrong there. But um, I absolutely love the sampling of it because I was reminded when I listened to Dojo how much I love Mama Thornton's version because it, it's just tremendous. So, um, yeah, we're going to continue on with this video. Now, I seen a comment. <laughs> and this comment was, um, someone had asked Mama Thornton, uh, how is it that you never made much money on Hound Dog and yet Elvis made loads of money on it? How do you feel about that? And Mama Thornton had quite a sassy response to that. I won't say it because I don't know exact word for word and I don't want to paraphrase when I'm just making this video. Now, what I hate about that is I hate the question. There are so many people who took Hound Dog and sang it after Mama Thornton and before Elvis Presley, which is where the infuriation begins because it's the price of success, it's the, the price of fame that they then pick on Elvis. Elvis made money on it. But that version didn't. 
what about all the other versions before Elvis's version? Because they didn't make money, no one questions them. This is very unfair. So that neatly ties us into Freddie Bell and his version of Hound Dog. Now he um, and his band done a version and Elvis heard it in Vegas when he was performing in Vegas. But Elvis heard this version. He enjoyed the version and he then took this and he made it different. Elvis's version is really quite different. Elvis, um, they have said, Scotty Moore's talked about it because it was uh, insane amounts of takes that Elvis wanted to do. The ferociousness, the the vibe, the the way he actually got down into the song and made it his own can never be taken away from Elvis and it shouldn't be. So, before further ado, let's go and to Freddie Bell's version. So here we go. I hope you enjoy. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, a hound dog, crying all the time. You never caught a rabbit, so you ain't no friend of mine. Okay, guys, so what did you think of that one? It's brilliant, isn't it? It's completely, completely different to um, Mama Thornton's. And there's a change of lyric. Now, this is important because the lyrics have been changed. Now, Freddie Bell did later on say, can I have royalties here? Or he, um, I think he tried to sue or he tried to say that his version was different. So he deserves some of the credit. But he did not get it because he did not ask permission to change the lyrics before. So that was thrown out and it's Libra and Stoller's song. So yeah, they changed the lyrics and made it a little bit more different. Now, Libra and Stoller did not like that. And they have publicly said they were not keen on this change because their initial song was about a girl singing about a man. This song then became singing about a dog. It's completely different. Libra and Stoller had not intended that. But they have also said... That once it had made the six to seven million with Elvis Presley, they kind of changed their mind. Now, um, Elvis's version. Let's get into it. Now, this is a completely different version as we have talked about. And I've seen the most epic of comments on Facebook. No, on YouTube, sorry. As I was searching through and researching Hound Dog. Now, if you go and listen to the Mama Thornton song, you've got a completely different style. Now go listen to Freddie Bell, which we have just done. It's a completely different feel. Mama Thornton's is black, so Freddie Bell's is white, a skiffle. Elvis's, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Credit where credit is due. Elvis deserves the credit that he is not getting, and it is infuriating me. Listen to the three versions, and you will see Elvis is different. He, you can't stamp him. You can't say he's this. You can't say he's that. He's somewhere in between. He's a blend. And that guy who said that on YouTube in the comment section was genius and made me just think, wow, yes, it's there. It's clear. Elvis, different. Well, of course, Elvis uses the changed lyrics that were made by Freddie Bell in Vega and, um, yeah, these are not the lyrics that were in the Mama Thornton song. So yeah, let's go and listen to it. Ain't nothing but a hound dog to cry all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, they said you was high at last. Well, Okay, so you can clearly see that there is a difference in the versions between Mama Thornton, which we listened to early on in this video, and then we went on to Freddie Bell and the Bell Boys, and you can see that Elvis is clearly, there's a change, there's a difference, and this is what people couldn't put their finger on. What is this? What is this blend? 
And Elvis brought this about through so much of his own self because um, Scotty Moore people, the band who were in the recording sessions with Elvis, clearly state, and I've put that in the video also, that Elvis produced these songs. He was a driving force for these songs. And um, you can clearly see it here with Hound Dog. It's just a completely different take. Um, the vibrancy, the the change, the newness. There's there's something there that we, I guess, people will never be able to put their finger on. It was a blend of styles. It was a blend of cultures. It was a blend of music. And Elvis was a catalyst. And um, Hound Dog is a wonderful song. It's been done so many different versions, so many different styles. There is not one that is better than the other. They are different. You cannot compare. You can enjoy all of them. And then you can witness the blend of fusions, things coming together and get excited by that, which I do. In conclusion for this video, um, I would like to say that Elvis did not steal Hound Dog from anybody. Elvis performed the song after he had heard it secondhand. Um, um, he did not take the song from Mama Thornton. We have discovered this clearly in the video. There were many after Mama Thornton who performed this song before Elvis. Elvis made money from the song because the song was a massive hit in the 50s. Elvis fans, if you are watching this, if you see things that are not right, if you read something in the comment section, if you see a person stating facts that are completely untrue, please go and Google. This took me 20 minutes to Google to find all of these things and why I specifically left it at this. I didn't want to delve deeper. There could be a lot more. There is so much more to this story. There are so many more versions that we could have listened to. But I wanted to see how quick it would be to actually just find out the truth. And there it is. That's how quick it is. So if you see discrepancies, let's fight for Elvis. Let's put forward the truth so that Elvis's legacy can continue and we can be proud and Elvis can be proud of us. He deserves that. So thanks very much for joining me on this video. TCB everybody and I hope you have a wonderful day.